Today we got invited to the soft launch of the 3D AR Trick Art Museum in Santa Monica. So I brought the whole family. We're going to check it out. What it is is these 43 interactive art pieces. You hold your phone up to them and then they have an AR element. Let's go explore. The 3D AR Trick Art Museum in Santa Monica is an awesome blend of art, social media, and technology right along the popular 3rd Street Promenade. We made it to the 3D Trick Art Museum. When you enter the museum, they will show you a QR code that takes you to the App Store to download the app that you will use in the museum to interact with the art. When you open the app, you'll be able to wake the paint, which is what they call it when the art comes to life and you can interact with it through your phone. So this is what you do. You walk onto the photo zone and then you hold up your phone and it scans and then it starts playing something crazy. You can interact with just like that. So in case you guys missed the live stream, this is Sunny and then this is Jack. There are uh, new additions to the California Through My Lens family. When you approach a new piece of art, you can either point the app at it, or you can see the photos they have next to the art that shows you what happens when you're looking at it through your phone. From there, you just act your heart out, interacting with the invisible art as you record the video on your phone. So some of these are really AR driven, and then there's other ones that actually just have the optical illusion painted right into the ground. I think this is my favorite one so far. The dragon breathes fire on you. We were invited for a soft launch before it officially opened, which is why there was not many people, but I'm told that due to the pandemic, it will be only a limited capacity when it opens to the public officially as well. So many cool things to see here. The best thing about this experience is just going with some friends and not worrying about how ridiculous you look while you're interacting with the art. Use your feet. You guys are gonna, gonna deadlift yourself? <laughs> Me and Jack are doing our last photo of the day. I can honestly say that we spent time with every piece in the museum. It's just so fun to take out your phone and to see how the app interacts with the art and then insert yourself into it. After about an hour and a half, we reluctantly made our way out of the exit of the museum. If you get a chance to check it out, you really should. What'd you think of the Trick Art Museum? The Trick Art Museum is really clever. It's really clever. A lot of the things that they do really surprise you. It's a lot of fun. You would give it a thumbs up? I would give it a thumbs up and it's a good Halloween thing to do. What'd you think? I don't understand how it works, but it's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a thumbs up? Two thumbs up. <laughs> Two. And just like that, our time at the 3D AR Trick Museum in Santa Monica has come to a close. My family had a ton of fun exploring this spot. Check it out if you're in the area. You can read all about it on CaliforniaThroughMyLens.com and we'll see you on the next video.